Hello everyone, uh, this is a video for one of my new subscribers who asked me how to use mp3 tag. Um, I will be honest, with mp3 tag there's an awful lot of features which you'll never ever need to, to use at all. So I'm just going to basically walk you through the, the basic stuff really. Um, mp3 tag is very easy to, to master if all you want to do is to get your tags right on music which has been tagged awfully or not at all, as is the case of some downloaded official media. Um, okay, so here we go. Basically, to download MP3 tag, you go to, as it says in the top there, mp3tag.de, um, with MP3 tag being a German website, you do have the chance to flip languages. So this, this has already been flipped to English, as you can see. Um, so once you've downloaded it, you basically install it. The download tab is right there. Uh, once you've done that, all you need to do is fire it up and you're greeted with this. Now, let me just move this ever so slightly. Now, what you're seeing here is everything is completely empty because you've not added anything. This is the most important thing to use. You don't need to see any other screen that MP3 tag uses, except for this one, maybe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add music, which to be fair, I've already tagged properly. But you basically highlight everything that you want to import into MP3 tag. Um, let me just, there we go, just drag and drop the whole lot. And then once it's in MP3 tag, you basically highlight all the tracks. All, in this case all 50 tracks and you can see that uh, in the top there the because I've already tagged this the individual tracks uh, you want to keep those but in your case if there's nothing tagged and you just basically want to add which track in the blank space and choose if this is very important choose save because if you do all of the tracks and then you don't click save you'll find that only track one will be done so you'll get used to it, it's easy, it really is easy. Uh, make sure that the artist and the album artist and the composer are all the same. Um, otherwise if you're using something like Rune and you break it out, um, you know if there's been two composers for one track, let's say on an album, two different ones, then Rune will break that out. So basically keep all composers the same, all album artists the same and the main artist the same. Don't forget to add what the album's called. And remember, I'm going on this as a, a preposition that you have no tags there. If you download officially, you'll find that some tags are there. Um, but it's not often you'll find that everything is tagged correctly. I've, I've, I don't think I've even found that. All the official downloaded music I've done, there's always been stuff completely missing. So record companies, this is something you need to wise up to. There are people like me who actually like to go through things like this and make sure that everything is properly labelled and tagged, ready to import into Rune. So yeah, once you've done the the artist name and the album title, um, don't forget the year, the track numbers should be kept, of course, um, unless you're doing, unless some tracks are randomly numbered, let's say, So, in which case you're going to have to go through each single track and add the number and click save, which is up here. Pop in a genre, add in your own comment, you know, either, you know, I like to put in, although I haven't on this one, I like to put in something like um, legally downloaded from, buff, wherever you got, got it from, you know, uh, seven digital or whatever. Um, if it's a multi-box set, then for each disc, obviously stick the track number. Um, <laughs> funnily enough, in this case, I haven't done, I've just treated it as... 50 song titles. Um, MP3 tag will always show the directory that the, mu that the music is in. Now for this particular showing, um, I have created a folder on my desktop, which as you can see, albums to keep, rune weirdness. Because some things in rune, however you try and label them, um, or sometimes or even automatically, rune just picks up the wrong files. So I'd rather just take them out of Rune for now until they, they put a patch in to fix that issue. And it's not many. I mean, I've got about 5,000 albums um, read by Rune. And I've only got about 
10 albums in this albums to keep rune weirdness thing going on. So rune aren't doing too bad, but you do get the occasional one. Now album art, you can either go to fanart.tv, which is another great website for really great images. Keep your image as big as you can, sort of basically a thousand by a thousand pixels. Um, too small, it looks awful. Um, luckily fanart.tv does them all at the same pixel rate, 1000 by 1000. It's a massive website. Basically, find the artist, find what you're looking for, right click, save as. And again, just drag it into MP3 tag. And let me just show you that. I just did a right click there, and you can either add a cover if there's no cover there. Remove the cover if it's the wrong cover. Extract cover, which means you can use it for another project, meanwhile keeping this one. Uh, that's all you need to do, really. It's very self-explanatory. I have probably made it sound like rocket science. It, it's actually not. Basically, find, open up MP3 tag, find the album that you want, and uh, pop it in, and start tagging. Very, 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 very easy. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm just going to exit this, by the way, just because I don't need to save anything. Edit, uh, select all files, which I have done anyway. Remove, that's what I'm looking for. Remove, close MP3 tag. And there we go, this is that complete rarities. Uh, albums to keep room weirdness, which I've already done. So there we go, uh, everybody. Chris, I hope you find this helpful. Um, it really is a piece of cake. You, honestly, once you've got it installed, you don't have to go through multi, multi windows to get it up and running. Um, although it is a very powerful tool. You just need basically what I've shown you there. Okay, everyone. Um, thanks very much for watching. This is another one in my infrequent videos. But yeah, the videos haven't stopped. They just become less and less. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope if you're new to MP3 Tag, uh, I hope this has been some help to you. Thanks for watching.